Candlestick charting is probably one of the oldest forms of technical analysis. It dates back to the 15th century and it's become very popular in modern times as traders realise its simplicity offers you a unique insight into the sentiment in the market. It complements the basic charting tools that you would have, such as support, resistance and trend lines, and often can really aid you in making a trade decision. Candlestick offers a graphical representation of the price action at a certain time frame. This can be on a daily basis, five minute, weekly or monthly, whichever you choose. Just like the bar chart, it will show you the open price, the close price and the high and the low of that given period. The real body, where most of the trading action takes place, is often known as the true value. But the single most important bit of information is the closing price, because that will often indicate where the next price will be for the stock or index. Generally speaking, the longer the body is, the more intense the buying or the selling pressure. And conversely, short candlesticks would indicate little price movement and could represent consolidation. This is the standard line that we can see here, which is red, which indicates a lot of selling pressure. The second indicator here is a spinning top. As you can see, it has a very long upper shadow as well as a very long lower shadow. And the bit in the middle is called the spinning top. So this represents a reversal of sorts and it can represent indecision where the bulls and the bears are fighting for the common place. The small real body, can often show little movement from open to close and the shadows can indicate that the bulls and the bears were very active during the session. After a long decline, the spinning top can indicate weakness amongst the bears and a potential change or an interruption in trend. The third candlestick where there's little or no real body and it's known as a doji. And this forms when a security or an, or an index, open and close, are virtually equal. The length of the upper and lower shadows can vary and the resulting candlestick looks like a cross, an inverted cross or a plus sign. Alone, they are neutral patterns, but the, any bullish or bearish bias can be seen on the preceding price action and of course future confirmation. For reference, the word doji refers to both the singular and plural form. The umbrella or the hammer or the hanging man, depending on your take, can often be a bullish reversal pattern that forms after a decline. In addition to a potential trend reversal, these can mark bottoms or support levels. So after a decline, hammers signal a bullish revival and the low of the long lower shadow implies that the sellers drove prices lower during the session. The strong finish though indicates that the buyers would have regained their footing to end on a strong note. Confirmation can be required in order to decide what direction to take following an actual hammer, umbrella or hanging man. The inverted hammer appears at the bottom of a downtrend and while at the top of an uptrend it's known as a shooting star. After a decline the long upper shadow indicates buying pressure during the session. You would need confirmation after an inverted hammer followed by a gap up or a long green candlestick with heavy volume to give you a bullish confirmation. For the shooting star the opposite is true. It will come at the top of an uptrend and then you will seek a long red candlestick to confirm your earlier notions that the decline is about to take place. The last graphical representation is the Marabozu. These do not have any upper or lower shadows and the high and the low are represented by the open or the close. A green Marabozu forms when the open equals the low and the close equals the high. And this indicates that the buyers control the price action from the first to the last. A red will generally mean that the bears led the actual price action downwards. So there are eight to 15 different moves candles can make. And once you understand these 15 moves, you can then apply them to any market you're trading. And this is the key to successfully using candlestick in your trading strategy. Often memorizing is one thing, but to understand the sentiment behind the candles and what actual price action is taking place within that trading time frame will give you a better clue as to the future moves. Once you can understand a single candlestick formation, it's very important to be able to look at a two-day session and align those two candlesticks together and blend them to make one, which again can help greater understand where the market may go from here. 
The engulfing line is probably one of the easiest candlestick formations to spot. You can see in the graphical representation that the candlestick, the last red candlestick we can see, completely engulfs the previous trading sessions, which can often indicate a key reversal point. Conversely, you have your bullish confirmation in the bullish engulfing, where you'll often see this at the bottom of a downtrend, and it can often precipitate and move higher in the market. Dark cloud cover is very similar to the engulfing pattern except it doesn't engulf the entire real body of the previous session. What it does is open higher than the close of the previous session and then close well into the previous session's body. It comes to the top of an uptrend and can often precipitate and move lower. As discussed earlier, there are two distinct patterns which come under the umbrella pattern, the hanging man and the hammer. Generally speaking, the color of these two patterns do not make much difference, but it's the next color that happens after them in terms of the next candlestick session that will give you a clue as to whether there is a proper trend reversal. This will give you an added confirmation as to what steps to take next in your trade. The hanging man often appears at the top of an uptrend. What you can often see is a very long shadow where there has been additional selling pressure where it's aggressively targeting the downside but has been pushed higher by the bulls. Again, the colour of this candle does not make much difference. But what you'll be looking for is the next candlestick which will give you an indication as to whether this reversal is about to take place. At the bottom of a downtrend, you will see a similar pattern, but you will be looking for a green candlestick to confirm that yes, there's a trend reversal in place. In pre-modern Japan, the number three had very mystical properties. As a result, you will find a lot of patterns are based on the number three. For example, three white soldiers, three long candlestick patterns, one after the other is quite a bullish move. Then you've got your three black crows, which conversely will be seen as a very bearish move. So in conclusion, by comparison to the likes of line or bar charts, candlesticks offer a great graphical representation. They're easy to identify gaps. Just the look, the color and the size of the candlesticks can give you a quick clue as to the sentiment in the market. You need to look for confirmation, of course, and you have to use them in association with support, resistance and trend lines. That way, it'll be a great additional tool to your arsenal as a trader.